Hi, I'm Kenny DeBuds Townsend. And I'm Roderick Townsend. Hi, I'm Josh Dallas. And I am Jennifer Goodwin. And we are here with Gold Meets Golden, benefiting Angel City Sports. I first talked about this, I was like, and it's so great, it'll be like a double date. You know what, in the past 14 months. I was looking for other couples to hang out with. Yay! I was, like, I was asking Jenny some questions about you guys because she had... Uh, you know, done some research, and I said, "So, do they have kids?" And she yeah. said, "No." And I was like, "Oh, well, how old are they?" And I was like, "Oh, they're professional athletes, so they're going to be a lot younger than us." And then I got depressed. <laughs> this, no, this was this dumb moment. Then I got depressed because then I finally realized that I will never be a professional athlete in any sport. And it's not only that, morning. not only will I ever really be a professional athlete in any sport in real life, I'm also too old to ever play one on screen. <laughs> <laughs> so just to clarify, you realize this today. <laughs> yeah. 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 This just happened. Delusion is a big thing in Hollywood. So in 2016, when I went to my first games in Rio, such an awesome experience. But my wife and I, we actually met in 2016 as well. Oh. Um, but during that entire time, the first show that we watched together was Once Upon a Time. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I actually thought you guys were around our age yeah. until I realized I did my research and I was like, no way. When I was in high school watching uh, He's Not That Into You. Oh, yeah. I was like, what? She's a little bit older than me. But yeah. You look great, by the way, both of you. <laughs> Thank you. Lights and makeup. We have Lights and makeup. This afternoon, but, um, but also, wait, because I went down this rabbit hole. It, I mean, it's wild what we can now Google. And yeah. you guys, your first date, by the way, was at Magic Kingdom. Yes. Yeah. Yes, actually. So, um, as I mentioned, so we met on we met on uh, Instagram. Instagram. I almost said Facebook. Uh, we met on Instagram, and literally the first time we talked was on a Wednesday. Uh, she lived in she lived in South Florida at the time, and I lived in Flagstaff, Arizona. Like I said, the yeah, the first time we talked was on Wednesday. I bought a ticket to Florida on Saturday. No, <laughs> and two tickets to Disney World. Yeah. What? <laughs> Later, I told my mom I was like, I'm moving to Arizona. <laughs> I was like, he's the one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, I realized that I was going to marry him when we were at Disneyland. Really? Oh my goodness. That I, is I think it's because I was on, uh, we were on the ride Big, Big Thunder, Thunder. And as we were coming over a hill, I put my arms up the air and I went, this is the best day of my life. <laughs> <laughs> because I, up at, at that point, it was the first time I had ever been to Disneyland. And I was already 35. But yeah. it was the greatest <laughs> the greatest day ever yeah it it really is amazing and um just to be able to have that be our first date and to just continue to build upon that so every year we have another honeymoon um and we go yeah. to uh, we go to orlando and we just you know spend times as big kids yeah. have you been to disneyland in california i've not been to disneyland in california you'll love it you'll love it yeah well, double day yeah well, double day that would be awesome yes yeah, right. let's, let's do it. The question about meeting on social media is, does that mean that were you guys seeking out a partner in your business? Um, not necessarily. No. I'm, no. I'm, I'm, I'm seeking out yeah. a partner. Yeah. I was like, if a guy wants to talk to me, we're going to start as friends. And if it's too boring for you, then kick rocks. Okay? Yeah, and I, was, I, was, I was at the point where I was like, yeah, you know, I mean, it, it'd be nice to have somebody to buy flowers for and to like, I, I really wanted a, a, a relationship um, and it, it really worked out well. And I think that us both being track athletes is awesome because we understand what comes with it. Yes. Um, and I'm sure you all can relate as well from a perspective of, you know, sometimes you have to travel somewhere and do something. It's not all fun and games. Like, Although it's cool to be able to have that be part of your job, just because you're in Jamaica doesn't mean you're on a vacation. <laughs> so like, uh, as, as actors, how did that um, help strengthen your guys' relationship? I mean, I think, you know, it goes back to what you said. There's definitely an understanding of mm -hmm. what the other one does. And the you highs know. and lows and time away and right. unpredictability. I mean, I've just been away for six months shooting a TV show that I'm on called Manifest in New York. And yeah, yeah. Here in Los Angeles. So I've been away for six months. And I, to, you know, I don't think every 
partner is going to be as understanding with that yeah. kind of thing if they were outside of the business. Yeah. <laughs> well, I had a, I had a question that I because I, I'm so I'm so fascinated with athletes and your ability and the ability that you have. So, what my main question is. When did, for both of you, when did you know that you had this superhero ability <laughs> to jump? Like, when did you figure that out? Were you doing this as kids? Yeah. She did. I did. I started around age eight. I didn't start high jump till age 10. I was all, I was that little country girl running in the streets and bicycling, climbing trees. Didn't know I was actually exercising because kids don't go out and play much these days. But when yeah, you're doing that, you're building muscle. And next thing you know, I'm racing all the boys at school and recess and in the neighborhood. And I'm realizing I'm pretty fast. I started out as a sprinter and I was winning. I was making little boys cry. <laughs> <'cause I'm> <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was much, much different for me because yeah. as she mentioned, she had all these accolades. Girl, we when I went to visit um, her mom back home, she had all these high school national champion trophies and plaques and so many cool things, all American. And meanwhile, I was in high school, I was a football player. And this is all, you know, with the, with the disability I have. So at birth, I, uh, the umbilical cord was wrapped around my neck. So uh, the doctor had to break my collarbone and dislocate my short shoulder in order for me to survive. In doing so, all the nerves in my brachial plexus were damaged. Um, so like my right arm, I can't fully lift it. Um, and I don't have as much strength in it. So to get a scholarship with a disability, you know, we all have these obstacles in our lives that we're all overcoming. And that's just what it was for me. You know, it, we all have something. So it wasn't every, anything that I ever got like, or even wanted to sulk on. Um, mm -hmm. But while I was in college, I remember I was at a track meet and I competed against a guy named Jeff Skiba. Um, super amazing Paralympian. He has, he's missing one of his legs uh, yeah, below the knee. Awesome. Uh, my coach called me and said, hey, yeah, um, what do you think about doing the Paralympics? And me just not knowing anything. I was like, well, I have both my legs. I don't know how I'm going to. And I thought, <laughs> I, don't that too. I thought that too. I was like, I don't know how I qualify for that, but what's up? Um, <laughs> what are you asking me to do? <laughs> and this was in 2014 or 2015, sorry. And um, so I compete against other athletes who have arm impairments, whether they're missing a hand, missing arm, or have the same disability as myself literally so this happened in 2015 and it was just a i i won the world championships broke yeah. the world record then went in 2016 and course. so it happened so quick you know how sometimes things are just flying by and you don't really get a chance to smell the road so it wasn't until 2016 after i got back that i was like wow that was a lot that happened it was it's really just new for mm -hmm. me to be dating someone that was uh just so great at what they do that I, when he told me he was world champion, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm like, and then I really see him he perform how he is and how far away the next person below him is. And I'm like, wow, this is so easy. Like, man, this guy is awesome. Like he's the coolest guy I know. Aww. 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 That's so nice. But like on the flip side of things, if you were an athlete, I mean, un unfortunately, I mean, you just realized, you, exactly. you just realized, you just realized, but had you not, I mean, retired coach. okay, if this was 10 years ago, because we obviously know, <laughs> if this was 10 years ago, <laughs> when you were in your prime, when you were yeah. in your prime physical fitness and you decided, hey, I'm going to be an Olympic athlete, what sport would it be in? Yeah. Oh, that's a really good, uh. What? Wait, I have to tell you the story of my only athletic experience. Have you ever come across Nintendo's world? It's called World Class Track Meet. Yes. No. That was that, this was my sport. As you recall, there was a big mat on the floor with these dots. It kind of looked like a twister board, right? It was hooked up to the Nintendo. And my sister and I figured out that if you propped up on your toes and you just like did this with your heels really quickly <laughs> that Nintendo would think that you were swift. And then when we would get to the long jump, we would jump off the mat. <laughs> they as long as we could without it like faulting us. 
Yeah. Howling us? I don't even know the terminology. Yeah. And then we would jump back on. I mean, yeah. that's how you guys train, right? <laughs> right, that's what you, yeah. that's basically It's all about efficiency. It sounds efficient, that's for sure. Right, but speaking of training, actually, what did you guys do with the delay? What did you do this year? Oh my oh. God, I gained like yeah. almost 20 pounds. <laughs> So <laughs> like everybody, okay. like everyone. We were really fortunate. Um, so I already do a lot as it is. I mean, I substitute teach on the time. It, it's, just, it's just really fun to be able to be, you know, <laughs> around kids and to be able to have an opportunity to see them in a in a life that, you know, they usually wouldn't just see an Olympic athlete or Paralympic oh, athlete. Yeah, that's cool. In that yeah. setting. So um the Jefferson I, County School System. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay, cool. Wait, it is for real Jefferson County. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. How for everyone you... listening to jump in, I'm from Louisville, Kentucky. I was born there, and they live in that is Louisville, awesome. Kentucky. So, all right. What a cool. it's small world. Small yeah. world. I wanted to ask you guys about that. Like, um, what do you guys do on your downtime? Like, what are some of the things that you love to do to help you recharge? You know, this is what he does. Yeah. This is taking years off of my life. He stands in our street and our kids are on their bikes and their scooters and they go downhill at top speed and he catches them and twirls them around and sends the bike or the scooter on its way. Yeah, so maybe it takes right. years off board ever. That sounds like fun. I can't wait. Right? To Maybe that's my Olympic, uh, Olympic sport, you know. Yeah, hammer throw, hammer throw. I mean, you guys are athletes though. Now, now I'm embarrassed to say that actors, we have jokes which we obviously shouldn't make about how like doing a season of television is like running a marathon which really we could not handle marathons and so we should not be making such a joke yeah. like, i would not be a runner <laughs> that's for sure i would not be a runner that would not be my olympic sport okay i have tokyo questions because actually i'm not up to date on where we are with our, our fans going yeah, so they're only allowing, uh, they're not allowing any foreign spectators right. to be at the games this year, okay. which is kind of tough because, as you all know, she competes in the Olympics, I compete in the Paralympics, there's about yeah. a two break in between. Um, I mean, I'm, I should be jumping at the Olympic trials this year as well, so fingers crossed I can go to both games, uh, which, nice. which would be awesome. Um, I kind of have to at this point if I want to be able to be there to support her. Wow. Um, <laughs> and and do you miss the fact that the stands aren't full? Yeah, because I know as an actor, you? particularly in the theater, you know, there's a whole relationship between the actor and the audience, and there's a vibe and an energy that sort of happens between the two. Is that the same for you when you're competing? Or well, it's, it's slightly different for uh, able-bodied athletes than it is for Paralympians. But we, we practice alone. Yeah. There's usually no one at the track. Yeah, it's just her and I out there. We have to get a speaker because otherwise we just hear <laughs> crickets. <laughs> and so uh, we were talking about Disneyland. Uh, once the world opens up again, and let's go to Disneyland, go to Disneyland together. Yeah. Also we'll and, um, I think that now um, the folks at Angel City Games have done so much to be able to, you know, make opportunities like this a possibility. And yeah. it's just amazing to see what, what all those folks have been able to do, but it'd be awesome to be able to have, you know, some of those guys involved as well. It'd be super cool, you know, to have them. Oh my let's, gosh. Let's yes. fund Absolutely. <laughs> and I know that they're they're based in, uh, you know, Southern California and LA, I mean, but um, they, they've been doing so much for the movement of Paralympics. And as somebody who, yes. like I told you, when I found out about Paralympics, I thought, well, I got both my legs. So to be able to see the dynamic that's happening and with these young kids who have all these opportunities being presented as we get closer to LA 2028. Okay. Doing the golden event that we were really educated about the group. We were really blown away. And we were invited to that event last year and met so many wonderful athletes. It's so amazing to be able to see um, because, because our worlds are not much different. Um, and it's really cool to be able to see the the dynamic and the relationships that come from it. And uh, was it last year when I met MJ? It was the year before I met MJ Rodriguez uh, from the show Pose. Yeah. And yes. we were watching that show at the time and I was like, my wife wasn't able to come. I was like, Ty, you won't believe who I just met. <laughs> and, um, it was awesome because we ended up having indoor national championships in New York and she came and watched us yeah. compete. And um, we're really oh. It's just awesome to be able to see all these relationships that are being built and friendships that you know were, that are going to be able to last a lifetime from just such awesome groups being able to bring us all together. Yeah.
Yeah, right. Well, we definitely want to come see you guys whenever whenever we can. So that, that, that will be really exciting. Oh my God. Yeah. We need a whole 80s training montage. So. <laughs> <laughs>